Hi, so on day 10 we had these two problems where we had to find the number of ways in which we can start from point P and reach to point Q. And there are two problems. In the first one we have a cuboid and in the second one we have a grid of squares. So let us first solve this first problem where we have to start from point P and reach the point Q. So of course we have to walk along with these edges. So the edges originating from point P are this one, this one and this one. So if I start from point P, I can reach to this point, this point and this point. So there are exactly one way in which these points can be reached if we start from point P. And from here, if I walk forward, I can reach either here or here. And if I walk from this point, I can reach here or I can reach here. And when I walk from this point, again, I can reach either here or here. So at this green point, either you can reach in this fashion or you can reach in this fashion. So there are total one plus one, two ways to reach at this point. And similarly, when we talk about reaching at this point, either you can reach from here or you can reach from here. So the total number of ways in which you can reach at this point is also two. And when we talk about this point here also, you can reach either walking along this edge or by walking along this edge. So this point also has total two number of ways in which you can reach here. See, this point had two number of ways, this one and this one. And this point also had two number of ways, which was this way or this way. And now if I talk about the point Q, our last point, here also you can either reach from this path or you can reach from this path or you can reach from this path. So since this point has total two number of ways of reaching here, this point also has total two number of ways of reaching here and this point also has total two number of ways reaching here. So there will be total two plus two plus two that is equal to six number of ways of reaching at point Q. So if you start from point P, you can reach in total six number of ways to point Q. They will be And now let's solve the next problem. So here also we have to start from point P and we have to reach the point Q. And if we talk about the relative position of point Q with respect to point P, it is actually at the top right. So we have to follow these ways and reach the point Q. But we have to keep one thing in the mind that we have to walk either towards the right or we can walk towards the north or top. So when I start from point P, I can either reach at this junction or at this junction by following either this path or this path. So these two junctions will have total one way of reaching there. And when we are at this junction, I can either go here or I can reach here. And when I'm at this junction, I can either reach here by walking towards north or I can reach here by walking towards the right or east. So when you start from point P, you have only one way of reaching here, which is this path. But you have total two number of ways of reaching at this point. So you can reach here either from this point or from this point. So the total number of ways of reaching at this point is one and the total number of ways of reaching at this point is one. So the total number of ways of reaching at this point will be one plus one, two. And there is only one way of reaching at this point that is from this point. So the total number of ways of reaching here is one. And now when I talk about these points which lie on this diagonal, here I can reach only from here. So this will have only one way to reach. And if I talk about this point, this has total one plus two, three ways to reach. And this point also has two plus one, three ways to reach. And this point has only one way to reach. And if you remember, this is almost like the Pascal's triangle. So yes, you can use the Pascal's triangle that we'll discuss later. And when I talk about these points, they lie on this diagonal. And this has one way of reaching here only from here. This has total one plus three, four ways of reaching over here. And this point has total three plus three, six ways of reaching here. Whereas this point has three plus one, four ways of reaching here. And this point has only one way of reaching here, which is this, right? And now again, when I talk about this diagonal, this has total one plus four, 
5 ways of reaching here. This has total 4 plus 6, 10 ways of reaching there and this has again 10 ways of reaching at this point and this point also has 5 number of ways of reaching there. And now when I talk about this diagonal, here you can reach in fifth total 15 number of ways. This point can be reached in total 20 number of ways and this point again can be reached in total 15 number of ways. And when I talk about these two points, this can be reached in total 35 number of ways. This can also be reached in total 35 number of ways. And when finally we want to reach here, the point Q, this can be reached by total 35 plus 35, that is 70 number of ways. This is actually the middle term of the 8th row of the Pascal's triangle where this is a part of Pascal's triangle. Pascal's triangle is actually an infinite triangle where we start from 1 and we continue like this where this middle term is actually some of the two terms which are exactly above this from the previous row. So the row number starts from 0 and the first element is also called the 0th element of that row. So you have to go till 8th row and the middle term of the 8th row will actually be 4th term which will be represented by 8c4 which is equal to 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial which can be written as 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 divided by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 where this 4 2's are 8 and 3 2's are 6 5 2's are 10 multiplied by 7 is 70. So in a Pascal's triangle rth term of nth row is represented as nc so suppose if you have x number of squares in one row and there are total x number of rows because we are talking about a square over here then this term then the middle term of the 2xth row will actually give you the number of possible ways when you start from the bottom left point and want to reach a point exactly diagonally opposite to that that is if you start from this point and you want to reach here there will be total 2x cx ways in which you can reach here and if you start from here and you want to reach here this will also be total 2x cx or in this particular case total 70 number of ways to reach here so in case of squares you can use this formula but if there is a rectangle then so suppose if you had this rectangle and this q was here then till here you can actually calculate using this formula and after that you can manually calculate the values at these nodes and you can reach this number which is 35. So yes it's completely up to you which method you want to follow and in few hours I'll be uploading problem set for day number 11. So keep watching MathSmart and bye bye till then.